camera, a small business in High Point, the latest target of vehicle thefts. Police say the people who stole seven vehicles off the lot here at Star Auto on South Main Street over the last 48 hours are kids. Good evening and welcome to the Fox 8 10 o'clock news. I'm Neil McNeil and I'm Madison Forsey. Fox 8's Cassie Famro is live outside that car lot right now. And Cassie, tell us how did they get into these vehicles and what did it take to get them off the lot? So Star Auto usually has vehicles parked in front of their main gate. I'm going to step aside and we can show you they have two there tonight. But what these suspects did was go around the back, break in the back door, and in order to get the cars out, they drove through the side of the fence and here on the South Main. Surveillance video shows two people with flashlights searching inside Star Auto on South Main Street in High Point. I mean, they break in, they break the glasses, they break the windows, and the second night they come again. Inside, they found the display of keys and went into the lot with them, pushing the lock button on remotes to see which cars they matched. I don't know why they don't go out and get a job. Why they have to stay? You can hear the suspects make their plan to get the cars out. All right, run over completely. Then they rammed the fence, knocking it down, and drove through. Watch it again and listen to the crash. In daylight, you can see the fence was destroyed and glass shards were left all over the lot. It's a crime that hurts their customer base. Two cars was blown to my customer cars. They was here for repair. Some of the stolen cars ran out of gas, like this SUV that was dumped right across the street. One car, they left it behind Tiki Club, and another car, they just run into the ditch. The business owner hopes police can find the other stolen keys for the rest of the cars on the lot so they can get back to work. I can't work. I got no keys. A very frustrating two days, but I just had the chance to speak with the owner's son just about half an hour ago. High Point police were here promising to patrol heavily throughout the night. And just in the past 30 minutes that we've been here, we've seen High Point police at the shop twice. Live in High Point, Cassie Fambro, Fox 8 News. Cassie, thank you. There